Oh, hi. I didn't know you were there. Yeah. Oh, okay. My name is Sam Nutman from Session 7 Media, and I'm the director and co-writer of the short film The Artifact. This short video will take you behind the scenes of the film and show you how we pulled off some of the more challenging shots we captured during the shoot. I'm Scott, and uh, I'm playing the character of Jack, which everybody seems to think is evil and bad and malicious, and I think I'm just misunderstood. There's gold to dim our heels! <laughs> I don't have a mean spirit of bone in my body. On a basic level, the artifact is about irreversible and unavoidable milestones in one's life. The rest you'll have to decide for yourself. When we were writing the story, I was a bit fixated on horses at the time and wanted to shoot something outside. So my co-writer Arya Alexandra and I took our basic concept and weaved in these horse chase scenes in beautiful natural settings. Since there was no dialogue in the film, a solid storyboard was essential for us to be able to break down the scenes and shots. So Arya drew one up, and that became our roadmap for shooting the film. I met with my friend Jane Spielers, who is an incredible fashion designer, and told her about this film we were going to make. She immediately envisioned this classic old-style wardrobe with some fantasy-driven twists, and I knew she was definitely the right person for this job. This is Shasta, and she is going to be ridden by Saffron, and she's going to be doing a couple of run through the fields and then through the woods with Saffron on her. <laughs> and so she's just basically going to be used as a saddle horse, like back in the old days. I told my good friend Chris Jonathan from the Equus Now project that we wanted to make a film with horses in it, and without hesitation, she told me that she was in. We watched a lot of films with horses in them and rode around in the woods a lot looking for good locations. The producer Lisa Levon and I chose actors we knew could ride horses really well, so even though none of us on the crew had ever filmed a horse in motion, we felt pretty confident that we could pull this off. This is day three of our shoot, and uh, we're at the water scene. So we have uh, young Claire crossing the river, getting swept away in the rapids. So we're uh, just about ready to send her into the water getting a little wet. I did not wear uh, my waterproof shoes, <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah. Chris, our horse wrangler, also happens to be a river rescue instructor with stunt work experience. I told her I wanted to near drown a young girl in the film, and she said that shouldn't be too difficult to pull off. Talk about having the right friends for the right job. So we played around with some ideas and locations, found one that worked, and sent our actress Saffron down part of the Skykomish River with her whole family on the side of the river cheering her on. For the underwater shots, I got my scuba buddy Jesse to come and help Keith Bowling, our director of photography, out in the river. They used a GoPro Hero camera, which did a pretty nice job. The director of photography, Keith Bowling, and I wanted to try out some new camera moving techniques for this film to capture some of the action in a more dramatic way. I called my buddy Andrew Davis, who flies radio-controlled helicopters. I found a radio-controlled camera mount and gimbal online and got together with Andrew for some test runs. <laughs> First time I've worked with a helicopter. Um, I don't know, it was really cool. We just ran through the field, did our thing, and then it got whatever they wanted. We quickly discovered that gas powered hillies, such as the one that he owned, introduces a ton of shake into the shots, which greatly limited what we could actually use in the film. But we're already working on a new and improved rig, and we'll definitely be using more RC Hillies in the future. Sam, what's going on in the zip lines here? <laughs> what's going on in the zip lines? What's going to, yeah, My what's happening? expensive happened? camera. <laughs> zip line. <laughs> Hopefully that's what's staying on the zip line. <laughs> we wanted to get some nice tracking shots of the horses moving quickly through the woods, so we talked to our friend Scott Williams, who's a rescue and technical rope technician, and asked him about rigging up zip line camera systems. After doing a little research online, we came up with some ideas for the camera cart and gave it a shot. We ran into a lot of issues with camera shake and sway since the camera cart was non-motorized and had to be hand launched with a rope from below. But we figured out a good camera launching technique that worked well enough and got the shots that we needed. We all realized that the best solution for zipline cams would be a single line RC motorized cart. So we're working on that for a future shoot. I built a small skateboard dolly like device a while back for another shoot and we used that for a few shots which worked out really nicely. I also built a 20 foot dolly track out of some old metal pipes and scrap wood and used a standard skateboard dolly for that on a few shots. My favorite camera toy recently though has been the Indigo Jib by Indie System. 
which is this mini jib that packs down really small and when set up gives you about eight feet of reach. It is seriously an amazing piece of equipment and we use that a ton on the shoot. But sometimes eight feet is just not enough reach, so the night before the shoot, Chris Jonathan and I devised a quick and dirty 20 foot jib. We extended a 20 foot metal pole under a homemade suspension tripod using a few boat oars and some webbing, drilled a few holes in it so we could bolt a camera to one end and attach ballast to the other end, and I hooked up this wireless monitor contraption I had put together for the RC Haley rig so we could see what the camera sees at the end of the pole. It worked surprisingly well and definitely delivered the dramatic shots we were looking for. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of using new camera gear like zipline cams and hilly cams, filming new subjects such as horses, and trying new action sequences such as drowning people in a river. But I always remind myself that it's a solid cast and crew that makes a film fun to shoot and a great story that makes a film worth watching. I hope you enjoy the film The Artifact as much as we all enjoyed making it. This is Sam Nutman from Session 7 Media. Thanks for watching. Yeah.